morning. Morning. It's Friday. It is Friday. We did not go to the gym. I was going to say, what did I do at the gym today? No, that's right. We didn't go. No. Day so off. Strategic error on my part. We, uh, I guess before Christmas, um, a client of mine who's also diabetic was talking to me about whole food, plant-based, and, and if I could help him with his diabetes. And I was like, yeah, we can do that. And so we planned to have them over for dinner tonight, and I'm going to feed them. I promised to feed them sweet potato lasagna. I did not realize when I made that that we were going to be launching our website this right, week. Exactly. And so I've got to make sweet potato lasagna. I want to make red pepper soup. I want to make um, banana and cherry ice cream. So I have all the stuff I have, I want to do for that. And now we're trying to finish the website. So right. we didn't go to the gym this morning because, oh my God. And we're wearing our matching shirts yes. because we were trying to shoot some video for the homepage right. this morning, which is hysterical. There are a ton of bloopers. There will be so bloopers video eventually. I will at some point put a montage of bloopers together and, right. and post them for you guys. Mm -hmm. But what did you have for breakfast? My oatmeal, mm -hmm. which had my usual, you know, hemp seed, chai, chia seeds, um, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, hemp seeds, spirulina, um, um, flax seed. Flax seed that you threw in there, banana, blueberries, and oh yeah, there was some oatmeal in it. Cinnamon. And cinnamon, right. So, and I didn't put my oatmeal on last night, so I ended up having his, but I found that if I cook all my fruit and stuff and mix it together and then add the oatmeal, it doesn't get as mushy, so that mm -hmm. wasn't too bad. Yes, it is our logo. You can't oh, you can't tell because yeah, from there shiny. you can't see it. Right. But yes, it's our logo. No, nope, no, nope, doesn't help. work. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, logo. Russ had the logo put on our shirts, and we match. We're twins. Right, exactly. Um, but today I wanted to talk a little bit about you know the meaning of food, why we choose the foods that we eat. Because Russ and I, we eat for different reasons. Yes. So. Talk a little bit about why the choose why you choose the foods you choose. Well, of course, and mine dates back to when I was bodybuilding, mm -hmm. way back when. <laughs> um, and is that I've always looked at as food as fuel, and so I'm always trying to figure out what fuel does my body need, and I and I eat that way. I don't really eat for taste, which I know is sacrilege for a lot of people. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, I'm not, it's not to say that the food I eat doesn't taste good because it does, but I'm always I'm more concerned with the nutritional value of food than I am the taste of food. Right. Whereas for me, I'm, I'm happy to eat food that has good nutritional value, and I do think about that as far as when I eat, you know, can I add greens to this, can I add beans to this? So that is a thought for me, but I need it to taste good. I'm not going to eat something that tastes bad. It's just not going to happen. Right. So for me, that, that's a thing. And I, so I think for a lot of people, when you ask them what does food mean in their life, there's a lot of emotional um answers that come out of it and it has issues around family and yep. so it's a lot more than just nutrition or does it taste good um is it fast is it easy is it convenient um am i eating it with people i love and do i feel bad and i'm trying to feel better and there's probably expectations too i mean if you go to a relative's house for thanksgiving there's expectations of certain types of foods because of the past and, and what they'll taste like right. and so all of a sudden you know you show up to somebody's house for thanksgiving and everything's plant-based you're like why did we come here again? You know? <laughs> Even uh, if it's yummy, it doesn't mean it's your yummy. Yes, exactly. So, you know, that that's interesting. And then there's also, you know, the eating behavior that goes. We're pixelated. What? Slightly, she says. That's Hopefully right. it's not too bad. Russell turn it Russell turn it on, on his phone. Maybe it'll be okay. Maybe we'll that's have right. to start over. Um, uh, it looks uh, like it's okay right this minute, yeah, at least on his phone. So that's good. Um, let us know if it keeps being annoying, Laura. Yeah, so anyway, right now it looks good. the eating eating behavior, and that is, you know, when you choose to eat. And I've talked about Pavlovian eating before, and how we eat by habit, not by thought. Right. And we're all so busy that we just are trying to shove food, you know, down to survive, which is, you know, a challenging thing. Right. Yes. And not the best way to go about about eating. So when you start thinking about being whole food plant based and what we're we may decide to call this the superhero diet because yes. it's, it's turned into that for right us. exactly um, but you have to really integrate new eating skills which is a weird thing to think about as an adult right you think about eating skills as a toddler trying to learn to use a spoon but as adults we have to change the way we think about food and the way that we um, engage with food and that emotional change i think is harder than the taste bud change yes 
Absolutely. I mean, yeah, I mean, people are emotionally attached to food. I mean, which is why when we talk about food and changing it, people get really, they know, get upset. They get really anxious they, they, they do. about and, it. They uh, really, really do. You know, it, yeah. I mean, but the thing is, you can be as healthy as you choose to be. You just have to surround yourself with a community of people that are going to support that. And we talked about that some right. yesterday as well. Um, but you have to listen to yourself. I think that, you know, I, I mentioned just a second ago that we eat on the run so often that we don't actually even consider what we're eating. It's just, what can I grab? And, you know, you can argue you don't even really taste your food because it's, it, it goes down so fast. That you While you're doing get, something else. You don't even get a chance to enjoy it. And one of the other things that um, I forget which documentary now talked about it is the time where people used to sit down to a meal and have mm -hmm. conversations. So your meal took longer. So your food had a chance to, your stomach had a chance to fill up and recognize it's being filled up because, the, the, you know, you're, you're feeding yourself over a long period of time. Today, it's like, you know, the family splits up in different rooms. They come down and grab their meal and go wherever they're going to go. And inhale or, while doing something else. Or if they sit at the table, they do it so fast because they want to get back to whatever it was they were doing. Right, exactly. You know, everybody's at the table with their cell phones. And it's tough to be different. Yeah. And so, and I understand that nobody has time to spend 45 minutes around every single meal, um, but you can take time to create stuff that you can eat that's healthy for you that you right. can eat on the run, right. so that if you do have to grab something, it's not junk right. that you're and, grabbing. And if you can have, when you have a meal, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, try to have it with someone so you can have conversation. Slow that whole process down a little bit. Even via video conference, yeah. and, you know, Skype or, or you know Facebook video or exactly. whatever. It's it's fun to have those kind of like meeting meals together, even if it's just via video. Um, I found I learned an interesting thing. There's a evidence that it takes about 10 calories to main per pound to maintain your weight. So if you take your weight, multiply it by 10, that's how many calories you need to maintain your weight, which is easier okay. than the, to, fit, to calculate. And obviously that's rough, and we've talked about calories are a ridiculous thing and, right. and whatever, but um, that, that was an interesting kind of thing. Um, and the, this, this, so these notes are from the uh, Rice Solution Diet, the diet, Rice Diet Solution book. There we right. go, that's what it's called. Um, who, uh, who in that particular book? I mean, he's dealing with extreme weight loss people. I mean, people very, have three, four hundred pounds. They're very, very heavy, overweight yeah. people. But I guess something that's interesting that I started occurring recently is that when I talk to people, especially women, it seems about eating plants and the change it's made in our lives and the change it's made in my life, they say things to me like one woman actually said to me, "Well, I don't want to be as thin as you." Yeah. Because okay. that happens overnight. Well, and I guess the thing for me that's interesting is that, you know, here's a woman who's 40 to 50 pounds overweight, and her concern is that she's going to get too thin. Right. And it's easy to add calories. I mean, if you feel like you're too thin, eat more. Right. Like, that's exactly. simple. Exactly. That's not a hard thing. And I don't know why people would worry about that when they're at the other end of the spectrum. I feel like it could be a... Um, defense mechanism? Defense mechanism. I was going to say excuse, but not really excuse, but a way that they can say, this is why. I'm not doing that because I don't want to be this. And in their mind, they say, oh, well, that's a rational reason, so don't worry about it and just stay the path, you know, right. or stay the course. And, right. and so I feel like maybe that's why people refer to it that way. I mean, I get the same thing, you know. Um, when I used to be a bodybuilder, oh, I don't want to be that big, so they don't want to weight lift. And I'm like, do you realize how much time <laughs> I spend working out and nutrition and all that, that if you think you can walk into the gym and in a very short period of time match me, Good luck. You know? <laughs> well, and I, so it's interesting how people worry about the opposite end of the spectrum than they're on, and it gives them a reason to not start yeah. on the journey at yeah. all. Yeah. So I, I think that, that's an interesting conversation to have someone if they want to engage in the conversation. Yeah. Well, you know, what's funny is that, and if funny is the wrong word, it looks like it might be pixelating again. It does. We're having drama with our uh, Wi Fi today, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I don't know why. I tested it and it seemed like it was okay. But. It's all, it's all good. We'll yeah. just do it. It's not a problem. Right. Um, but yeah, so if people are so concerned or they're coming up with these excuses, but then when I try to talk to them, especially because I have a degree in psychology, I start kind of asking questions, then I get really aggressive pushback on it. Right. So it, it, I guess I would encourage you to look at what does food mean in your life? How are you using it in your life? Is it nutrition or is it emotional support or, or is it something you just do out of habit that you right. don't even think about? You know, maybe you can add some thought, but 
And then don't worry about being too far to the thin side if you're, you know, on the skinny, if you're exactly. already on the, on the heavy side, you can worry about that when you get closer to the issue. That's right. I mean, you know, monitor yourself. Uh, yeah. You know, you know, we should all have that same problem where we're worried about getting too thin. You know? <laughs> Eat more food. Eat more food. So exactly. I guess we'll we'll let you guys go since the Wi-Fi or the internet yeah. or Facebook or somebody's decided that we're going to be pixelated today. Right. And uh, we'll... Uh, We'll come back on Monday with more stuff. We're, we're working on the website because I do have these dinner plans uh, tonight. Put a little wrench in I the may lips. not get all the work done that yeah. I have to get done, sadly. Yeah. So we, it may come up over the weekend. But we'll, we'll send an email. I promise we'll send an email. Right. We'll let those of you who are on our email right. list know. It's close. It's, it's, it is. It's, it's so 85 close. 85 to 90% done. It's so close. I just right. have to do a little more copy work. So right. it's coming. So? That's I think it. that's it. So with that, we'll make it short today. Uh, you folks all have a great weekend. And with that, we will say, eat mostly plants. No, start at the beginning. <laughs> oh, yes. What am I doing? Wow. <laughs> Take two. We, bloopers. It's been a blooper morning. <laughs> it has been. So with that, we'll say, eat real food, not too much, mostly, mostly plants. plants. I was going to say weekend. it in reverse. <laughs> Bye. Bye.